Okay, so hi there and welcome. The time is around half past almost yeah 10:30 a.m. and today it's actually not a work day for me uh, on the schedule but the guy who is driving this truck which is this truck I'm gonna take over it's gonna be just my truck for pretty much the rest of this month of, of yeah pretty much the rest of August it's gonna be my truck anyhow uh, he got sick and didn't feel that good so I took over and drive an uh, extra day extra money uh, so yeah uh, shouldn't take too long this trip I had some problems with the computer and he warned me about it when he came over here that the computers are fucked up uh, that they don't work properly and you have to do a lot of stuff manually on the computers that is on the trailer not inside in here in the cabin uh, so yeah I have three places three locations I'm gonna drop off at uh, and one of them is gonna be um, a truck diesel station which means I'm gonna be pumping diesel and it's gonna take a shit long of time uh, let's see now how much does this station wanna have how much they wanna have oh yeah they wanna have that much we can fix that. Should be perfectly plausible. Uh, so yeah, this truck is actually officially from now on, it's my truck for the rest of this month. Uh, yeah, uh, the only issue I have with this truck, except the computers are not working, uh, the only issue I have is that in this truck there is no heat box, you know, for the metal food containers. Uh, I only have a microwave, which means, well, I the food is getting done quicker of course so that's a big plus and I can get you know if I'm too lazy and forgot about making my own dinner or lunch I can always go to a gas station or just a any food store close by and get some microwave food it's all good yeah, that is pretty much what's going on right now. And this should be my 10th, yeah, this should be video, num vlog number 10, but it is day number 11 inside my vlog, truck vlog. against red so yeah guys thanks for stopping by once again and I will see you in a sec when I am further on the road I have 40 minutes of drive time to the first station so see you back see you later Okay, so what you haven't been seeing right now is 
pretty much everything. I've been at the, all the gas stations from my first <coughs> my first load uh, during my at the first station I called uh, the dispatch and you know the people that was planning everything uh, and I asked them if they had any Thing more for me and they did they put me up on a straight load which means I only have one station to go to with this load and it's a almost full truck it's more legal now than it was before. It's not fully legit. Uh, I think it's a couple of hundred kilos too heavy. I don't really know exactly how much you can load, but I have cut down a little bit just to be on the safe side. I think I didn't cut down enough. So, anyhow, what have you been missing? Well, people have been standing in the way, obviously. Uh, people have been parking their cars wrongly, of course. Uh, computer have been bugging me out quite obviously as well and it's freaking hot outside yes I think when I woke up this morning it was around 38 degrees Celsius on the balcony and well of course now the balcony They have my buddy and his girlfriend have uh, to the living room where I sleep. Uh, that balcony is during morning. It's that's the sun sun side. You know, the sun is on that side of the apartment. Uh, I don't know. What more to say? Um, as usual, I can show you everything I'm doing. It's pretty much just picture on me. <laughs> Why? Well, because I don't have a, a permit or license or whatever you're supposed to call it that I'm allowed to film on the road <laughs> yeah I'm close to you. you BMW I think yeah BMW Ooh, Corvette nice oh military vehicles oh fun or for you guys, but I can film that. Uh, now, it, it would be fun to actually have a camera pointing forward on the dashboard. Uh, but, you know, because of the lo uh, laws and rules or whatever, I'm not allowed to do that. Uh, if I want to do something like that, I need to have a permit or license or whatever they are supposed to be called in English. You know, I sign up and put together a letter pretty much and send it in to government. Um, and they approve it or deny it, pretty much. That's it. And in that letter, I suppose I need to, you know, 
put in why I want to film on the roads and what I'm doing with the material and all kind of stuff I need to sign in there type in there uh, and now here's a problem Ooh, hello there uh, pink truck that was a beautiful truck actually mostly because it was a Scania and there was uh, two ac actually two women driving that truck I think one of them saw quite young, a lot younger than the other one, so I think that was like big sister and younger sister, or maybe even mother and daughter, I don't know. Anyhow, if I had that kind of permission, I would film more on the road but because I don't have permission to do it I can and I won't uh, only times I do it as you saw in stupid reindeers that's when for an example there reindeers uh, no, stupid reindeers that's the only reason why I filmed the road because there were stupid reindeers in the middle of the road yeah oh what more to say oh yeah you missed that my failure of making my lunch you see in this truck there is no heat box, and I might have said that earlier. Uh, we only have a microwave in this, in this truck. And there is no coffee machine either, which is sad, because it would be quite nice to take a cup of coffee if I'm going to Hemoban again. Because, because that is quite far away. And it's quite nice to have a cup of coffee on the mo in the morning. But now I can't have that because I will be driving this truck pretty much August out. And there's no coffee maker, coffee machine in this truck. Uh, and yeah, about the failure of making lunch. Uh, my colleague who'd been driving this from Hemovan this morning, uh, he got sick and I took over the truck and his afternoon or morning, the load he had on the morning. Not only did I do that, uh, he actually gave me a, like a frozen lasagna he had left over, he had over, you know, and that's, uh, I think he's supposed to have that to lunch today, but because he felt sick and got home, he left it over to me. Uh, When I, when, you know, I asked him where the heat box is and he said, well, you only have that metal food container, yeah. Okay, take this lasagna, pretty much. That's it. Uh, anyhow, so I got this lasagna. What I failed to do, this is quite funny, you see, there is a plastic film over over the whole food, con you know, the, the form where the food is, uh, whatever, and 
of that foil or plastic film you're supposed to take off, not just pick, uh, make holes in it and put it in the microwave. No, this is a film that is over the whole ev everything. It's like a bag. And what I did was I was just making the holes, put it right straight in the microwave. When I took it out. It's melted. Not everything, but around the edge, around the lasagna. And I tasted it. Tasted the lasagna. Didn't taste anything strange. Uh, but with the knowledge of it is plastic, melt, melting plastic in the food right now. I decided not to eat it because I don't want to get food poisoned. I did try to eat, you know, in the middle, but still, it's, it's melted plastic in it. So, with the risk of getting food poisoned by myself, I decided not to eat that. Uh, that was a total failure. Lucky for me, I could eat pretty much half of the lunch I had with me today. So I did eat it a little bit of it, and I eh, will see. I have leftovers too later on. Oh, that looks like a small car. Not like a moped car. Yes, it is. And it's a classic one as well. Hey, beautiful. So, yeah, straight load. A roughly 30,000 liters of diesel. No, wait. 30,000 liters of uh, gasoline. Yeah, 30,000 liters of gasoline. And... Yeah, 30,000 liters of gasoline and 25,000 liters of diesel fuel. Now, that is a little less than they wanted me to get over there, at least in diesel, but I'm giving them more gasoline that I, than I supposed to deliver. So, I'm compensating in a different manner, different way. And I don't have fully loaded the truck and the trailer. Wait, the trailer is fully loaded, but still, the truck is not. So I am a little lighter than I, if I was fully loaded. But I think it's not enough. I think I need to drop it even more next time. Eh, yeah, we'll see. And now, see you guys later. Okay, so after a long day, I am finally done for today. Took a couple of hours, or maybe one and a half hour to release that cargo. <laughs> maybe more, I don't know. This station I was to, and uh, this station is actually called Green Zone. It is, I would say, um, it's taking a long, long time for the fuel to be real unloaded there. Uh, it's, go so, it's going really slow <laughs> for some reason on that station. What? 
I am done for today. And not only that, I am done for this week. I hope, because I am... Right now, after I am done here, turning off my phone, not gonna answer any calls if it's not from a friend or from my family. Because uh, I, I really wanna go and visit. Go back home to my hometown. Uh, fix some stuff, meet up, uh, hang out with a couple of friends, and maybe do a live stream or two uh, over at Twitch. We'll see, we'll see. And, oh well, yeah, edit all my videos and try to fix my laptop so it works. Because on my PC at home, I'm definitely able to uh, edit my videos, but stupid fly. Yeah, that is what's happening right now. I'm going back home to my hometown. I'm going up north. Next week, I will be back with the trucking. Yeah, that's good. That's always good. Goody, 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 goody. And yes, uh, the schedule for my trucking is gonna be, next week is gonna be three days. Hopefully, I get a long, long distance delivery. Up uh, all the way over to the Norwegian border. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see. Hopefully, all goes well. And now I have a biker. Yeah, no, he's passing me. Fucking biker, he could have gotten out on the outer lane. We thought I would have maybe blocked him. Just fuck him up. Anyhow, this is the time of the video that you all know about. If you are new here, well then, let me tell you. Go down to the description down below. If you like it, you know, it's all up to you. Go to the description down below. There's a little button, show more, and you click that, and you will see all my social media links, to my Facebook page, my Twitter, uh, I think you find a link to my streams as well, over at my stream over at uh, twitch.tv and my stream over at hitbox.tv <laughs> Basically it's the same stream the only difference is it's two different services and I'm trying to mold the stream but my main stream is twitch.tv uh, You will also find uh, You will also find link to my gaming team and community, gaming community, Viking Gamers, uh, then you have, down below that you have the comments field, so you know, if you like to sh comment me, my videos, uh, say something bad, some, say something good, whatever, I don't care. It doesn't bother me whatever you're typing in. Just say hi. Something. Um, ask me any question about trucking or whatever. And I will try to answer it. Uh, and you can always, you know, 
give me a thumbs up so that you like the video, give me a thumbs down if you doesn't like the video or what I do. Uh, you know, there's a couple of stuff you can do down below. And then you can always subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already. Because there will be more coming. I uh, promise you that. Anyhow, see you guys in my next video. Bye!